Well, I came to a lot of meets here. Call, or high school state, Southern Premier, all the all the good stuff on NAC, good old NAC. <laughs> so you know all the secrets. Uh, kind of. I will say the air quality is very much so improved. It's been pretty cool. I would say last year, the coaches and I would both agree that something was just like kind of off. Nothing big, like I was still swimming really fast and I was really happy with it, doing it for the team. Um, but I was just expecting a little more, like times to be just a little bit faster. Um, so this year, it kind of like, I've been saying I'm not surprised that it's been so great, but I am really, really happy to see it all paying off. But I also know that's kind of how my swimming career has gone. I've kind of been level for a few years and then had a big drop. And it's been like literally the most fun, what, two years with Gretsch, three years for Ale with Alex at UVA. Um, but like Alex said, they moved to Nashville when I was in seventh grade, I think. Alex was sixth and Gretchen was fifth. Could have been a year forward, I don't know. Um, but it's just been so much fun. Alex lives right next to me right now and Gretchen lives literally across the hallway. Um, so we see each other so much and we come home together. Um, and uh, you know, I feel like the third Walsh sister, um, but they're just, they're so amazing and just, I, I feel like an old woman when I say this, but to see how much they've grown, um, Marshall can attest to this, he's standing right there, but I literally used to be the ones having to like get them to the blocks in high school, <laughs> like, you guys, come on, um, but they're just, they just carry so much confidence with them now, it's been so much fun. And I, so I got into a grad program at UVA, I'm doing a biotechnology program next year, okay. so I'll be in Charlottesville, um, <laughs> I, I really don't know what I want to do um, swimming wise. I, I told myself I wanted to decide before NCAAs this whole season. I'm like, I'll decide if I'm done or not before NCAAs just because I want to, you know, know if this is my last meet ever. Um, but obviously I haven't made the decision yet and I kind of want to wait a little while because, you know, this is the fun part of swimming. It's not when you're in December and you're like, ah, this is so hard. Um, so I want to wait a few weeks and let myself come down off of this swimming high, kind of. Um, and I definitely won't be doing any meets this summer. My whole class at UVA is going to Europe for like three and a half weeks, so that wouldn't set me up too well for any meets this summer. Um, so I'll be taking a good break, but I, I will say I, I probably will be back. I have I honestly haven't told anyone that, so um, I did text my parents after that race, and I was like, this is too uh, soon to end all this fun. but. Um, Nothing like for sure yet. I yeah, long course has kind of been up and down for me. Just I, I do so well with like the team atmosphere in the college season, and it has been a little bit hard for me to like transfer that to long course. I guess it was two summers ago. I kind of, or yeah, tri whenever trials was, however many years ago that was, I found a good groove and I was really happy with that. And then last year I kind of lost it. I or last summer I kind of lost it for whatever reason. I have no idea what it was. Um, but, and then this summer I won't be really doing any long course meets, maybe one or two back home in Nashville, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we'll see how, like, I'll probably do a few, if a few meets next spring, long course, just to like see where I'm at, and then if it's good, keep going for trials. Um, I'm not like a huge like time standard, like goals person, so I can just kind of see where I'm at, and yeah, we'll see.